Hello guys, welcome to this channel. In this video, I'm going to review this device from Fossi Audio. It is a K5 Pro audio amplifier and a DAC. But before we start, I'm going to explain what does Hi-Fi mean and what is a DAC and what is an amp. In case you are new to the world of audio devices like me, but if you want to start by the review, you can go to this minute in the video. Let's start by Hi-Fi. Hi-Fi stands for high fidelity and high fidelity means high quality reproduction of sound as it was originally made so you want to hear the best sound that you can as it was originally made without having any difference in the sound so you can just call it a high resolution audio just like video there's a high resolution video you go from sd to hd to full hd to 4k let's say that the high fidelity audio is a high resolution sound and to achieve this hi-fi system you need to buy some devices the first device and what you should buy first is an amplifier amplifier basically takes the signal that is coming from your source if it's your pc or your phone and takes this signal and connect it to your headphones and gives it a higher power that is sufficient enough for this headphone or speaker a high quality headphone might have a much higher resistance to the signal and this resistance is called impedance and it's measured in ohms and the higher number of ohms means more resistance which requires more power to overcome and our devices like motherboards and our phones may not be able to provide the sufficient power to this headphone it might work but it won't work with the full potential like i saw a lot of people getting some graphics cards and connecting them to the pc the graphics card requires an 8 pin bar cable but some people connect just a 6 pin bar cable and the gpu works without any problems but it won't work with the higher bar to just give you like 70 percent of its full potential so to get the full potential of this device like the headphone or the gpu you need to give it the sufficient power that is required and this is the job of the amplifier another device is called a DAC DAC stands for digital to analog converter our computers and phones work on digital signal or digital information only understands and works on digital information that is 0 and 1 but headphones and speaker work on analog signal so we want to convert this digital signal from our PC to an analog signal that works for headphones and speakers now you can buy two different devices an amplifier and a DAC or you can just get a hybrid device like this it's an amplifier and a DAC at the same time on some devices like this you may find the gaming world basically gaming will mean that this device will have a microphone input just like this instead of just a headphone input it will have also a microphone input because most gamers have a headset to the mic so you can't connect one wire here and the other wire to your motherboard it can't reach so the word gaming just means that it will have a microphone input and now let's review our product that we have today Fossi Audio have sent me this device and asked me to review it they didn't tell me to say anything they just sent me the device and asked me to review it first the package itself it shows you the device name K5 Pro and Fossi Audio Hi-Fi made fun on the side it shows you some warranty information and inside the package you will find an optical cable and also a USB A to USB C cable and the USB A is hybrid so it can be used as USB C or USB A according to the device that you are going to connect to headphone jack splitter the device itself is very light and small you can hold it in your hands and it also weighs about 230 grams so it's very light and very small which makes it a very good portable device it's made of aluminum and it doesn't feel cheap at all the build quality is really good but i think if it was black it will look much better but this is just a personal preference now on the device itself on front of the device you will have three knobs and two inputs the first knob on the right is to adjust the gain and it's also used by long press for few seconds to turn on or turn off the device and by just clicking on it will change the input mode from USB to optical to coaxial and the other two knobs one for the treble and one for the bass the treble makes the sound brighter and the bass when you increase it will make you feel the beat and feel the sound in your ears and also a microphone input and a headphone input also three small lamps that shows you the connection mode and on the back you will have an RCA output and a coaxial input 
optical input and the USB C connection. The USB C connection is used to connect the device to the PC or to your console, and it also gives it the power. So it will take the power just from your PC or your console. And you won't have to connect it to another separate power source But I've tried to connect it to my phone and to my tablet But it didn't work, the device didn't want to run I think for a device like this, which is very light and very portable Look the size in my hands It would be much better if it works on mobile phones It's supposed to, but it did work for me, I don't know why Maybe it worked on some devices and others do not Once you connect the device to your PC, it will appear on your sound settings you will find it directly without needing to install any drivers if you go to levels you will find that able to run up to 24 bit 96 kilohertz studio quality and on the recording tab you will find your mic if you connect it now i'm going to make a small test by connecting my earphones into the device and comparing it to the PC and i'll show you the difference on sound by comparing it on the audio recorder on my phone And as you can see right now, it's almost the double of the original sound that is coming from my PC. It's not the main thing because most people won't run the game at max because it will hurt your ears. But this shows the power of the device. On the device information, it says that it supports headphones with impedance from 16 to 300 ohms. After you connect the headphones, you can adjust the bass and the treble as you want until you find a satisfying sound for you unfortunately i can't tell you a specific results for specific headphones and i don't have these headphones but you can watch these two reviews on youtube just go to the end of the video just like the last three minutes or last four minutes and you will find the results for using the device with multiple headphones and i also suggest that you watch multiple reviews on any device before you buy it just to get different opinions that will help you decide if you want to get this device or not so you can watch the review of cheap audio man and no theme reviews they have used it with multiple headphones and if you have any of these headphones that they have reviewed you will know the results so at the end from my experience and the reviews that I have watched on this device it's a very good device with a high quality build material and it supports multiple inputs so it can work with multiple devices without any problems and supports a variety of headphones from 16 ohms to 300 ohms but the downside of it is that it didn't work on my phone for such device like this which is very small and very portable it would be a huge advantage if it worked on my phone unfortunately it didn't work it may work on other phones or you may find a way to make it work the other thing is when I connect my earphones when I increase the treble beyond the middle point I hear some noise in my ears without running anything so I'm not playing any sound and when I increase the treble beyond the midpoint it just I can hear a lot of noise in my ears I think it may be normal because of connections but it's something that I noticed so the device itself is available on Amazon for around $80 and you can get it directly from FossiAudio.com with a 10% discount it will cost you like it will only cost you $72 or you might find it on sale on some other time there will be a link in the description to get the device if you want to get it from Fossi Audio directly. So guys that's it for today's video I hope you find it helpful please like the video and subscribe to the channel and thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.